By the end of this video, we're going to have an enemy chasing our player. I'm going to be starting with just this basic player movement that we did in a previous video. So first, let's make our enemy object. So we'll right click in our hierarchy and go 2D object sprites capsule. Uh, and we can call this enemy. And I'm just going to set this to be red so we can see him. Now, if we click add component, we can add a rigid body 2D. And inside this, we want to set our gravity scale to zero and freeze our Z rotation so we don't spin. Now, if we go down, we can add another component and click add new script. And we'll call this enemy. Then we can double click on this to open it up. First, we'll set up our variables. So we'll want a public float move speed. Oh, speed. And we'll set that to a default of two. Then we'll also want a rigid body 2D transform which we'll call target and a vector to called move direction. We'll add an awake function and in here we'll set our rigid body 2D to be get component and rigid body 2D. Then in our start function, we're going to want to get our target. So we can call game object dot find and search for player. And then we can get the transform from that. So that'll be what our enemy goes towards is our players transform. For this find to work, what it does is finds the name of the object. So we need to make sure our object is named player, which you can see both in the hierarchy and in the inspector. Now in update, we're going to check that we have a target. So if target, and we'll use this to get our direction that we want to be heading in. So we'll do a vector free direction equals target dot position, take away our transform dot position, and then we'll normalize this. Then we'll set our move direction variable to be direction. You could set this code here directly into our move direction variable, but I did this separately just in case you want to make your enemy's angle rotate and face your target. Because to do that, you want to go float angle equals math f dot atan two, and you pass in the direction dot y direction dot x, and then you times that by math f dot rad to deg. <laughs> then with that angle, you'd set your rigid body's rotation to equal your angle. But I'm not going to use that for this code, so we'll just comment that out. Now we have our direction. I'm going to add a fixed update where we'll do our movement. So we'll say if we have a target, we'll set our rigid body's velocity to equal a new vector to pass in our move direction dot x and our move direction dot y and times that by move speed. Now when we press play, we can see our enemy chases our player. Another way to set your target would be to set your transform target to be public and remove the code in the start function where we find our player object. Then back in Unity, if you click on your enemy, you can see in your enemy script, there's a target with a slot. You can drag your player object into this slot and it'll work as before. You could also set your targets transform by using find game object with tag. And back in Unity, selecting on your player Make sure the tag dropdown has player selected. Those are just some other ways you could initialize objects in Unity. And that's it. Nice and easy. See you later.